Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 8th of 2023 well, it is titled Perseus Galaxy Cluster from Euclid. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image from a new space telescope, and that is this telescope known as Euclid. Now, what is Euclid? Well, it is a telescope that is a little a bit smaller than the new James Webb telescope, which is six meters in size. This is only a little bit over a meter in size for its mirror. However, it also this one is available to look at a very wide field of view and give us big, bigger, better images looking across wider fields. Now that means something maybe a couple of times the size of the full moon. So it gives us a little bit bigger area to be able to look at than typical other large, large telescopes. Now here we're looking at the uh, Perseus cluster, which is a cluster of galaxies that is over 200 million light years away. So our the Andromeda galaxy is about two and a half million light years away. This is 100 times farther away out in the distance of space. Now, that's not the only galaxy you see here. And in fact, almost every object that you see in this image is a galaxy. And that means there's more than 100,000 galaxies visible here. Now you will note a few stars and stars will have a distinct diffraction pattern pattern through them. So you'll see that little cross pattern going through the stars. And those are just foreground stars within our own Milky Way that happen to be located in the same direction on the sky as this cluster. So they are not associated with the cluster at all. They're nowhere near it actually. So what is Euclid going to do? Well, it was only launched just a couple of months ago, and we're starting to get some of the initial results and studies from it. And it is going to be able to survey a large portion of the sky, about a third of it, trying to study billions of galaxies. And the goal of it is to look at the dark universe. While we see the galaxies here, we want to use those galaxies and our understanding and observations of them to better understand the dark universe, which is dark matter, which contains most of the matter uh, of galaxies, but is completely invisible to us. It does not give off any kind of light or other electromagnetic radiation. And then we also want hope to better understand dark energy, which is causing the universal expansion, which we've known about for about 100 years now, to actually accelerate and go faster and faster. And we hope to get a better understanding of what is happening with this, because that is contrary to our ideas of gravity. Gravity should cause things to slow down and cause the universe to accelerate at a slower rate now than it did billions of years ago. And we're finding quite the opposite that the galaxies are accelerating away faster now than they were billions of years ago, leading us to the understanding of dark energy. And hopefully the Euclid telescope will be able to help us better understand these two mysterious dark parts of our universe. So that was our picture of the day for November 8th of 2023. It was titled Perseus Galaxy Cluster from Euclid. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be M1. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.